How's it going guys? My name is Jeff Tito and I'm here to show you how to beat by Caramelia without using the Nami Mist. Which, in case you guys don't know, it's an item that prevents enemies from healing and will completely stop Amelia from using her health regeneration. This item is extremely useful for PvP and I think it's better if you save it for that. So, I'm going to show you everything you need to know in order to kill this boss without having to use it. And I also have an easy time doing so. This strategy is really easy and I'll do my best to explain it in such a way you can pull it off in no time. So first I'm going to show you how to get there. As usual I'm taking a shortcut which I'll show you how to open in a different video. The link is in the description so be sure to check it out in a second. Thankfully the run to get to Viker Amelia is short and you won't have such a hard time going back to her every time you die. Basically, you just go out of the cathedral ward, go up the stairs I just show you, and enter the Grand Cathedral where Biker Amelia is placed. There are some strong enemies on the way, but you can pretty much ignore them, or if you're good at killing them, you can do it to obtain a good amount of blood vials before the fight. Don't worry about your quicksilver bullets because you won't really need them against Biker Amelia. Now, before we get started with the actual guide, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the strengths and weaknesses that Varka and Amelia has. First of all, let's talk about the strengths. Amelia has a huge amount of health. On top of that, she's able to regenerate health. She has a big moveset for a boss of her size. And also, because of her size and how close you have to be from her, it's kinda hard to predict every single attack because sometimes you're not even able to see them coming in time. Her battle will be long, so you need a lot of blood vials when you enter this fight. Don't worry, let's talk about the weaknesses. Amelia is sort of a static boss, not as static as the Cleric Beast, but it moves significantly less than the Blood Star Beast. She lacks insta-kill attacks as far as I can tell. Well, there's a grab that she does that might be an insta-kill, but it is so slow that I think it's harder to get grabbed than to dodge it by a huge margin. Also, I only noticed this after I made this video, but it's worth noticing that most of Viker Amelia's attacks come from her right claw because she's holding her locket with her left claw, which makes her left side vulnerable most of the time. She's vulnerable to fire and to lightning, which is why I would recommend bringing some fire or ball paper and molotovs. Now let's get started with her moveset and how to reply to her attacks. Let's talk about the first attack. The way to predict this attack is that Amelia will draw her right claw to the back and scratch the floor before hitting you. This attack can hit you even if you're right behind her, and it has more range than you think. The way to dodge this attack is to simply dodge it to the front or to the side. The good thing is that if you manage to dodge it properly, you're already in position to hit her. Other important thing you need to know is that Viker Amelia usually has moves that can have 1, 2, or even 5 hits depending on the face and where you are positioned. In this case, if you dodge this attack to the right, she will sometimes try to hit you throwing her claw to the back, so keep that in mind when you are approaching her. These attacks don't deal that much damage individually, but they can make you waste a lot of blood vials. The second attack is easy to predict, but extremely powerful if it hits you. Amelia will join both of her hands into a fist and it will try to punch you. The tricky part about this is that there is an expansive wave that can hit you from afar and that Amelia has some sort of a tracking system which means that if you miss time your dodge, she will hit you. The way to dodge this attack is by timing your quick step to the side and then you can reply by simply rushing towards her afterwards. On the next attack, Amelia will try to hit you with her right claw. Doesn't seem like much, but if you dodge it to get close to her, she will then throw her right claw to the back, scratching the floor and hitting you. The way to prevent this from happening is by dodging this attack always to her left side. Which is easier said than done, because your instincts tell you to dodge below her claw, and you're gonna have to fight that instinct. The next attacks I'm going to show you are pretty much combo attacks. From the beginning of phase 2, she will either do them to start a combo or use them as a follow-up attack which means you're gonna have to be paying attention to her claws at all times because she will be able to throw an unpredictable amount of punches at you. What I recommend to do here is not get greedy and pay extreme attention to her claws. She has a big recovery time so you will have enough time to hit her after you make sure she finally stops her attacks. If you take some damage, don't stop 
Anyways, the damage you're gonna take from most of these attacks is gonna be pretty low. The last attack I'll show you is a grab attack. It's extremely slow, so you don't have to fear it. When you see her pulling her claw to the back like that, just quick step until you're right behind her and start dealing some damage to her. Now, this is not an attack, but it's something that you're gonna hate even more. This is what makes Amelia a difficult boss, her health regeneration. What she'll do is that she suddenly stops and presses her locket against her chest, and when she starts to glow, her health will start to fill up. The best way to counter this is to go to her as fast as you can and start dealing as much damage as you are possibly able to. She will heal a little bit anyways, but it won't be as bad. So, to summarize everything you need to know to fight Viker Amelia, remember, try to dodge her attacks to the left to avoid most of the second attacks she throws. Don't be greedy, and try to pay as much attention you can to her claws. Also, don't get discouraged by the small amount of damage you deal to her, and remember that your Molotovs and Papers are going to be really strong against this boss. Well, that will be it for me guys, thank you so much for watching, I will be uploading more videos of Bloodborne in the future, so if you have any suggestions on how I could make these videos better, please just let me know in the comment section below. I'm Jeff Zito, and I'll see you guys later.